The flags of China and Hong Kong are hoisted skyward in unison, marking 23 years since Britain handed control of the territory back to China. That ceremony taking place just hours after a new and highly divisive national security law came into effect in the global financial hub. Timing by no means incidental. Under the law, crimes of secession, subversion, terrorism and collusion with foreign forces will be punished with up to life in prison. A national security agency will be set up in the city, with agents accountable only to Beijing. What's more, the law allows for mainland courts to hear Hong Kong cases in certain situations. A similar and ultimately mooted move sparked last year's sometimes violent protests that lasted for months on end. This Wednesday, in defiance of the new law, pro-democracy protesters are taking to the streets once again. Probably in the future, we may never see a million people on the street again, not because we are satisfied with the government, uh, but just because we are now uh, living in fear. This year, an annual rally marking Hong Kong's return to China has been cancelled by authorities, citing fears of coronavirus. But with global attention trained on Beijing's latest encroachment on the city's freedoms, many protesters say they won't be taking this new law lying down.